right, so how's the tour been so far? It's been good. Uh, it's been great touring with Dirty Penny. They're an awesome band. But it's like every tour you do, it's up and down. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah, New York City was great. <laughs> Anybody want to expand? Uh, no, it's been good. It's been fun. It's been a couple of really bad shows, a couple of really fucking good shows. We're all happy. Uh, so you guys are currently on tour supporting your latest album. Uh, what's the story behind the name of the album? Uh, it's a title I had in my head for a long time. I wanted to name all the songs we wrote. The Art of Telling Lies. But uh, eventually the song it got the name, got the name. Because it fitted that one the best. It just came up to me. I can't remember what happened. I was either on a subway, subway train or I was sitting and smoking a cigarette. I can't remember, I just came up with it. And I, it stuck in my head and I needed to use it for something. But the whole, the whole song is about how the world is now. There's a lot of fucking lying going on. No one tells the truth, to be honest, and everything will work out. And on that note, how's the current state of the music industry and I suppose the world economy affected your band? Yeah, not too much. We've never been rich, and we're not rich now. Uh, but <laughs> uh, rock and roll is still alive and well. It feels like it seems like people are are sick and tired of the same old stuff that's been played on the radio over and over again. Now everything sounds like Nickelback, and it gets a little boring. So people seem to get a little bit more excited these days. So, uh, is it safe to say that you guys have worked? with many bands that you grew up listening to. Uh, yeah. I've been I've been super lucky because when I when I was a kid I loved Poison Rat and all those eighties bands and I toured with those too. But it was mostly Bach that used to be a, a hero of mine. All those eighties bands that I used to listen to, I met most of them and up we played with shitload. But the biggest heroes is a little bit harder to play with like the Stones, Aerosmith. We'll get through one day though. One day? Yeah, I would like to jam with John Lennon, but it's gonna be hard. You gotta go down first. People are more into sleaze rock. I'm not trying to categorize things, but you know, mm -hmm. you get the general idea of what I yeah, yeah, yeah. say when I say that. Uh, in Europe, than they are in, say, the United States. For some reason, there are a lot of young people here in the United States that find the image fashionable. However, they don't really listen to the music. And you might often find that a young person will wear, say, an LA Guns t-shirt and they don't even know that it's a damn band. They think it's a clothing brand. What do you guys think about that? How does that, you know, make you guys feel? I don't know. It's uh, It should always be about the music. And I don't know. Hopefully there's not a sh uh, the overall population of rockers aren't just into it for the style. I hope not. But if if we're lucky enough, the people who love the style, the look, might discover the music later on and then it doesn't really matter. But it should be about music, that's that's what I've been about my whole life. And right. It, yeah, so if it's not about the music, bullshit is the middle finger. And that's... I suppose, what has been the highlight of your experience in the band? Everything we know, like all the touring, like being together, like doing all these crazy things we've been doing during these four years. Everything, writing songs together, playing shows, being able to keep on touring, yeah. and touring, you know, for four years in Europe and here, and uh, that's the best part, I think. About it. Able to meet new people, go to new places, you know. It's, for me, that. Just that we're able to do what we do, what we love to do, and like, that's, you know, hard. we don't have a boring job that we don't, like, even care about what we have to do, and we do what we love to do 24 hours a day, so, everything is great with this. Well, the best thing, what we've done in this band so far is starting the band, I think, because that changed my life and all these guys' lives, lives too, so starting the band was the best thing this band has ever done. So what's next for Veins of Jenna? Uh, a lot more touring and 
she has tried to promote ourselves as much as possible, but we're talking to labels right now, so hopefully the good will come out of it. We're trying to get this album we have now released through a label instead of just selling it on our own like we're doing now through our own label. Because it, it, it's fun, but it's hard. We need to help it support, and it's looking bright right now, but it could change tomorrow. So right now, positive. Tomorrow, I might be a little bit more sad. That's <laughs> so far, so good. So we'll see. We're gonna keep on playing. Yeah, yes, keep, keep on touring, keep on writing songs, and then we'll see what happens. Hopefully, something good will happen. I don't think too much. We'll just do what we do. We're we'll always done. Okay. So, uh, do you guys have a special message before we go? Yeah. You're looking at MySpace and all the news of don't be like, if you like, uh, don't be, don't be afraid of new, new music and discover new music. There's a shitload of bands out there. We were lucky enough that some people saw our band online and helped us to get to where we are now. And there could be a lot of bands out there that's even better than us. Who knows? That needs to be discovered. So. Yes, don't listen to the radio. There's a shitload more out there. Great. Bye, guys. Cool. Awesome. Awesome.